the news of Osh Poppy confession linking certain individuals in Nigeria, of course, many of them have not been called, but one of them right now that has been tagged to all of this is no other than Abakiri, a celebrated police officer. And Otis Wright of the United States District Court for the Central District of California ordered the Federal Bureau of Investigation, FBI, to track down Abakiri, producing him in the United States for his alleged role in a multi million dollar fraud perpetrated by Ramon Abbas, Osh Poppy, and his co conspirators. If you are just coming across this, channel and you're not a member of this wonderful family why don't you join by simply tapping it's free subscription button and very importantly the red notification icon bell below if you are a returning subscriber i say very big thank you um and if you're already a member of this wonderful family i say god bless now following this incident the very outspoken apc chieftain took to his official facebook page to share photos of atiku abubaka x Senate President Bukola Saraki, ex Speaker of the House of Representatives Yakubu Dogara, Senator Dino Melaye, no longer a senator anyway, he has been kicked out. Joe Igwokwe is the man who decided to share these pictures and what he wrote. He said, Osh Poppy and Associates. Now, what I want you to take note of is this all of these people that are associated with Osh Poppy are part of the opposition party PDP. So, it's easy for them to quickly bring out pictures so as to paint them as dirty people. That's on one side. Then, um, secondly, APC tries to present themselves like a, 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 like a government of, of transparency, a legit government, a government that is clean without any fault or any, fun, any, any, any kind of crime. That is what APC tries to present themselves. That's what it is. Everything is done to make Buari look good. Even when Buari is killing Joe Igbokwe's tribesmen, it comes out to make excuses. In fact, on live TV, Joe Igbokwe said it is the Igbos who are killing the cows of the Northerners, the Fulanis, and they decided to fight back. That is what he said. All of this tells you what? When you give money to them, they shut their mouth. They care less about whatever it is that's happening out there. The court said Osh Poppy allegedly conspired with five others to defraud um, a business person by claiming to be consultants and bankers. Um, to several business people, you know, they claim to be consultants, bankers, and um, they so they could facilitate a loan to finance the construction of a school in Qatar. So they 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 did a lot of you know hacking into you know they connected with south um, korean korean let's just say korean and asian let's say asian in general hackers in asia they connected with that in america they have in america too i'm talking about americans now so it's not about nigeria for a lot of people who are tagging this and calling it nigeria nigeria no it's not just a nigerian thing it's something that is international it's a inter international syndicate there is a kind of connections uh, connection round that's just what it is. Now, people reacted to this. Of course, everyone knows that uh, Osh Poppy always liked to associate himself with every of those people. And they talked about money laundry. Money laundry might not be the kind of um, type that you are thinking about, political money laundry. It might not necessarily be. Um, the way this syndicate work is this. They have people who hack. They have people who facilitate the transfer of money. Osh Poppy connect with certain individuals, probably might have connected with politicians in the hope that they will help him to cash some funds into some accounts you no know, politicians have arrangements they have ways of taking huge amount of money abroad if not how is it possible for politicians to buy very expensive properties abroad deposit huge amount of money abroad without questions has asked so, Osh Poppy might have connected some of them. In fact, right now, it is said that Dino Melaye has decided to be a bit quiet since he knows that Osh Poppy might be singing the song. You know, he might be pouring. His mouth right now is pouring because Osh Poppy will do just everything. Osh Poppy is not the kind of person that will go down without bringing everything around him. In fact, plus the one that he does not know, he's going to bring everybody to him if the heavens 
fall. It must fall on everybody. Oshpopi is trying to uh, reduce his sentence. Um, Oshpopi is somewhere around 38 years of age. And if you add the sentence, the years he's going to spend in jail, that is if he's not killed in jail. If you add all of this together, because prisons in the United States is not a joke. If you had all of these years together, Oshpopi will be coming out somewhere around 60 years of age and that's a, that's an old man if you do not have money it is even said that he has to return some huge amount of money back to the people he defrauded um, so as to reduce his death sentence but uh, his um, sentence but i think um Osh Popi might want to keep a little for himself that is if that money that he's keeping for himself will be as huge as you know it should be when it comes out of jail so a lot of um reactions trailed all of this um people say joey Kwe, joey Bo Kwe, what is the meaning of all of this at your age assassinating people's character is your pleasure of course that is the job that is the work of this um, administration they try to go after opposition as if they themselves are clear now i'll throw one other thing into this a lady who calls herself investigative journalist Kemi Ululoyo, a lot of people don't like her. They don't want to listen to her. They think she talks. Yes, there are times that Kemi Ululoyo acts in a certain way, like she has some issues with her mind. Yes, it happens that way. Of course, with all of the... I don't know if she had been like that all the days of her life for one reason or the other. I wouldn't know. But what I know is that uh, she acts in a weird way sometimes. But I want to tell you this for free. Kemi Ululoyo, she's a very intelligent person. She has her connections and she connects properly. Probably she has some challenges in her life or some problems in her life. Either the one she brought into her life herself or affliction that is not self-inflicted. Probably something that has to do with her background as a person. After a lot of people have problems in Nigeria anyway. Probably from her family there are a lot of issues that could have surrounded whatever it is that, um, that's happening to her as a person. But when it comes to intelligence, she was interviewed and she dropped. In fact... The other journalist that was brought there could not do justice to the topic. And the, the topic is about Osh Poppy, Abakari, and all of those things. She was able to disseminate the information. She was able to break all of this information. She was able to, in fact, she scattered everything. She broke it into pieces. And if you look at all of this, you come to realize that there are a lot of people that will be named. Although the document has been redacted, they are releasing it little by little. I'm telling you this for free. People like the one of the celebrated um, blogger in nigeria linda keji her name is inside that is one don't forget that the way this syndicate work they need people that are already established people that have accounts that can carry big money people that are connected to some other people that are connected to some other people people who are in oil business linda keji is involved her name is there that's it. And apart from that, it is even said that they wanted to hack into churches like Winner Chapel, RCCG, I mean, of these big churches that are collecting big, big tithes. But they later relaxed on it and said, okay, let's leave these churches. Don't let us proceed. They were already cloning the website, doing all that they needed to do. So as to, you know, kind of package the whole thing. But they decided to leave RCCG, Winner's Chapel. I'm sure that a lot of people quickly come out and say, ah, you cannot battle with the God, you cannot battle with the Lord and all of those things. Well, I don't want to go into that anyway. Today is Sunday. So what I'm saying is this. A lot of names will be exposed, will be brought out there, and you'll be shocked. All wealth, celebrated, known, is not always what it is. That is what you need to take note of.